Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sidetrack here, bringing you another look at MDIO's Mod Tinker's Construct. Today we're going to look at two specific types of blocks. One of them are more personal items, and the other are kind of some of the decorative blocks that have been added in this game. So without further ado, let's go take a look. We're going to start off with personal items. This first uh, item you see here is a heart canister. Uh, you make heart canisters with one jeweled apple, one necrotic bone, one miniature red heart, and an empty canister. Necrotic bones, remember, come from the nether stronghold. Uh, takes a little bit to get there. Uh, miniature red hearts drop from random mobs. You will actually probably have several of these before you manage to get any necrotic bones, unless you luck into finding the nether stronghold very quickly. A jeweled apple, you're going to take one apple, four diamonds, put it in your crafting window and get one jeweled apple. Remember, apples come from oak trees, your empty canister is going to be made from four aluminum ingots. Just put it in your crafting window. Fairly simple. Heart canisters stack up to ten. Uh, and the way you're going to use these, I need to turn off creative, and you will see that you have a new inventory tab. Um, this is added with Tinker's Construct. You'll see that there is a shadowed out heart canister. Go ahead and stick that right in there. As soon as you put that in there, you will notice your health will slowly start to increase. I have my world set to peaceful, so you will see that these hearts generate very, very quickly. Uh, in a normal world, it's normal health regen. But you will see that each heart canister that you add actually gives you an extra heart. I added 10 heart canisters, I get 10 new hearts. So, effectively it doubles your health. Pretty cool. Next thing I want to show you is the knapsack. You make a knapsack with six leather, one gold ingot, and two iron tough tool rods. Remember, you have to cast the iron tough tool rods in the smeltery. So that will make you a knapsack. This knapsack, again, you'll go to the new tab you have and just go ahead and stick it right in there. Uh, you will get a third tab, which then you can click on and you have a whole new inventory window. Um, you can tell I already had things that I'd put in my knapsack and when I equipped it I got access to it. The next thing I want to show you are these oreberry bushes. Uh, these oreberry bushes give you an easy renewable way to get new ore. So there are gold, tin, copper, iron, essence, it's kind of a new thing, aluminum, different oreberry bushes. The essence is not an ore, it's kind of a feature that's being fleshed out from what I understand, kind of with some of the newer updates that will be pushed out. Um, essentially the way oreberry bushes work is come down here. Um, they grow ores on them, and you harvest the ore by right clicking. Uh, the only way that they're going to grow oreberries is being in a dark place, so don't make the mistake that I made in the beginning in sticking them you know, in the middle of my l brightly lit living room. They will never produce ore if they're not in a reasonably dark area. The other thing to note, if you stand next to them, they will poke you, so be careful where you place them. Alright, next thing I want to show you is this stuff we call brownstone. You can see a little bit of brownstone over there. To make brownstone, you're going to take gravel, put it in your casting basin, have some molten aluminum in your smeltery, and just right click. It will dump a tiny amount of molten aluminum onto that gravel, and then you get your brownstone. So place this brownstone just like you would anything else. And the neat thing about brownstone is if you mouse over it, it says you run a bit faster on it. Hmm, how much faster, you ask? Well, do 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 it's a noticeable difference. It's not super speed, it's not going as fast as sprinting, but you can sprint on it and get a nice quick bonus. Alright, the next thing I want to show you, make it light again, is one of these extra tools that has been added. It's called the chisel. I have myself an iron chisel, um, but you can make it out of whatever you want. Uh, and what you can do with the chisel is you can either use it in your crafting window to carve blocks, so I can turn a rough brownstone into a brownstone road. You'll notice the tooltip for brownstone road is you run pretty fast on it. So you actually run faster on a brownstone road than you would on rough brownstone. Pretty cool. You can use other blocks as well. You can cut 
Stone into stone bricks. Stone bricks into stone roads. Stone roads into fancy stone brick. And then, finally, chiseled stone brick. I'll let you play with those. You probably don't need me to see them, because all of these are things that are in base uh, Minecraft. Um, but it's a nice, easy way to make all of them. The other really cool thing you can do with the chisel is if you right-click while looking at another block, and it's going to make an animation like I'm eating my chisel. That's just a bug for right now. But you can actually change the blocks in place. So in the case of the brownstone road, I don't know why you would not want to just do it in your crafting window, but look at how fast that makes me run. Take off here. That's kind of fun. All right, the next thing, and this is where, for me, it becomes very useful. I like to live in caves. Caves tend to have lots of stone walls. What I used to have to do is run around and excavate all the walls, all the ceilings, all the floors, and then go back and put new stone down. It was very time consuming. But with the chisel, what you can do is simply change it this way. Pretty cool. And then you can also do fancy designs. You can whatever you want to do. Uh, pretty cool. And I'll show you just the last step. Oop, extra one for you. So pretty nice. Next thing I want to show you is you can cut various other blocks. You can take redstone, and yes, there is a redstone block. You'll notice the tooltip says it emits a redstone signal up to four blocks away. That's pretty cool. The other thing is you can take slime balls and make bouncy slime bricks. Not too shabby. So, slime bricks, boing, 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 boing. I am not touching space. You'll see you'll slowly stop bouncing. Um, our redstone block, if you have it attached to redstone, it will emit a signal one, two, three, four away, but not any more than that. So not too bad. Uh, one thing to note that this does actually have to be touching the redstone. It does not emit a redstone signal through the air. That would be pretty cool, but does not do that at this point at all least. Alright, so I suppose I ought to mention all of the decorative blocks that you can make. Um, you can cut obsidian actually into two different blocks. Um, one is with the ingot. One is with the regular obsidian that you just mine out of the ground. Um, this is chiseled sandstone. We have chiseled netherrack and chiseled polished stone. Both of these you can pull out of the creative menu, but you cannot make on your own at this point. They will require a polishing stone um, that should be coming out in the next dev version. Um, this is uh, an iron block, a gold block, um, a lapis block, a diamond block, or if you really have way too many diamonds. Um, you've got... Uh, I think this is a bone block and then end stone. I might have these two mixed up. Um, and then the last thing I want to mention before we move on um, is that you can cook your rough brownstone in a f uh, furnace and turn it into regular brownstone and then you can chisel all of the brownstone. Um, again, this also you can run a little bit faster on this just like you can with the rough brownstone and brownstone road. The next thing I want to show you, however, is this blue liquid. If you take sand, throw it in your smeltery, you will get molten glass. Very cool. And exactly what you would think would happen if you right click, you can pour it out either on a casting table or a casting basin. If you put it on the casting table, it will turn into clear glass. I think they call it a clear pane. If you put it in the casting basin, it will turn into clear glass. Well, clear glass looks like that. A clear pane looks like all that you see in front of you. Pretty cool. I really like the textures here and I have heard through the grapevine that he's actually going to be smoothing out the textures so you won't have um, you know basically the edges between the panes. It'll just be one giant pane of glass which will look amazingly cool. Even cooler than this and I like these a lot. The other thing I want to show you is that you can dye your clear glass. Essentially, just take whatever colored dye you like, it works with all of the dyes in uh, Minecraft, to my knowledge, surround that dye with eight clear glass, and you'll get one stained glass block. Looks pretty cool. I love the way this looks. The next thing I want to show you is that you can actually carve your smeltery bricks. Um, you do that with your chisel. You can do that before you make your smeltery in the crafting window, or you can do that after these blocks are already placed. Either way, it won't mess up the functioning of your smeltery. You'll see I still have stuff in here. It still is working perfectly fine. Very cool. I like that. 
next piece I want to show you is, well, over there, but somebody put a big hole in the ground and filled a bunch of lava. I wonder who did that. But, no, that's okay. I've got a lever over here. Let's see what this does. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. That is so cool. Yes, MDIO has added a drawbridge, and it's retractable too. Very cool. Um, essentially, the way this works, let me show you how to build it first. You take two aluminum brass ingots, you take one blank cast, remember that's going to be from the aluminum brass or gold in your smeltery, put it on a cra uh, turn off the rain, um, put that on your casting table, you're going to have one dispenser, one redstone, and four bronze ingots. That will get you a drawbridge. I'm going to show you this drawbridge. Why not? Um, drawbridge works with almost any material. When you place it, you're going to have a little hole that is facing you. So orient it whichever way you'd like it to go. Uh, when you right click it, you will find there are two squares. Whatever you put in this square is going to be what your drawbridge is made out of. And then in order to get it to fire, you apply, let me get out of the way, a redstone signal. Now this drawbridge will move. I'm about to kill myself there. Um, this drawbridge will go until it meets another block or until it goes 15 squares. Now you'll see I put 30 in here. It used 15 of them. Pretty cool. Now these look awfully conspicuous. You can see them very easily. Uh, and so if you want to disguise them, you can take and put a block in this side. And it will become whatever block you put in there. If you want to make it gravel, whatever you would like. You can even use the same material that you made it out of, which is what I did over here. Um, as the sun is setting, you will see that this drawbridge, actually, these glowstone in the drawbridge actually light up. They are really glowstone blocks. Very cool. I'll go ahead and take this away. Very cool. I like this a lot. Next thing I want to show you is the igniter. There are other mods that have added igniters, but I like this one. Um, you take very similar recipe. Two aluminum brass, a nether rack large plate, flint and steel, and a redstone. Four bronze ingots. This is going to give you your igniter. And you can see what I did in here. I've got, you know, a beautiful, absolutely beautiful fireplace. Apply a redstone signal. You get fire. When you place this, just like the drawbridge, pink side will face towards you, apply a redstone signal, fire. Take away redstone signal, no more fire. One thing that I want you to be very aware of is that this is real fire. If you, no, oh well, see, there you go. If you stand in it, you will burn. If you apply it to wood, all right, stop burning. If you apply it to wood, it will burn down your house. So that's something very important to notice if you, you know, live in a house, live in a tree, be careful. Alrighty, so let's go back over here. And I think that I am all done with this particular set. Uh, we've got our igniters, we've got my poor house burning itself down, um, drawbridges, clear glass, got our orberry bushes, our two personal items, lots of fun stuff. I hope you found that video useful. Uh, I hope you guys uh, have a very good day. And again, like always, if you have any comments, suggestions, um, things that you would really wish I would cover, just post a comment down in the comment section and I will do the best I can to accommodate you. Uh, one more video coming out on this. It's going to be kind of the advanced smeltery functions. Um, but until then, this is Sidetrack signing off. Have a great day, folks.